Renown in Jeopardy! Watch this video and get used to seeing that message. Hello, this is Iron Bill, too old to grind, with another helpful video on how to farm faction tokens uh, this faction rally. Uh, this time around, there's a new system in place called Renown. Renown uh, does two things. It buffs the amount of tokens you can win from a Lost Sector event. It's earned through public events such as this one, patrols, or killing world bosses. Uh, it has a downside though, and that is that it debuffs you as a player, both your recovery and your power output. You also take more incoming damage. So, is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? That remains to be seen. For my personal taste, I find it more annoying than helpful because the benefits that you get from it really don't outweigh the annoyance of having to deal with it always being on. Now you'll notice in this public event that a number of people are intentionally killing themselves as I am doing now. I believe that's because they are running Renown and they're finding it's getting in the way of playing the event. A public event, a heroic one, will give you four Renown or three Renown, excuse me, four if you're wearing uh, faction items uh, for, for whatever faction that you pledge. But when you come to the public event, it can make uh, successfully turning these events heroic much more difficult. So the two ways around that, of course, are number one, to die, uh, and the second way, to fast travel to a location, which will remove, <coughs> excuse me, all of your Renown. One more sniper round, and I would have had this uh, ship here in just a moment. I notice I'm out and move over. So what I've been doing is I've been trying to double and triple dip on public events. So if I find one on a planet, I will uh, go to the event, turn it heroic, and then uh, as soon as it's over and I collect my rewards, immediately, immediately return to the same location, as you'll see. Now, uh, we're about to kill this boss which goes rather quickly. There are the, uh, coming up soon are the rewards, the token rewards. And here comes the drop. Okay, so there are five tokens for that heroic event. Now bear that in mind. So I gather my reward. immediately go to come back to the same area. If you'll notice that no other flags are up, there's a chance you can still get back into another instance of the same event. I lose all my renown, come back in the world, and it is going on. So, if I hustle, I can get there before this event is over. With luck, it's heroic. If not, uh, I'll take what I get. So, as we get here, pop in, and you'll see that the timer is at like 98% at this point of completion, which means they didn't turn it heroic, which is fine. Kill the boss. Ish, not a real boss. And prepare to collect the reward. And it's four uh, tokens. Now, to be honest, that's far more efficient than going five renown into a lost sector, especially if you're playing solo, because the bosses are, are the uh, lost sectors are much more difficult, and it's a lot easier to die um, with five renown than it is to repeatedly uh, go to these same public events. I know the intention was to make the lost sectors more meaningful. Uh, and, and difficult, and in some sense they've done that, but the risk-reward just isn't there, uh, in my opinion. So now I'm going off-planet, since nothing was popping on IO, uh, dropping in, and I want to demonstrate the Polaris Lance here, by the way. If you're wondering if this gun is worth going for, you'll see that it, it takes uh, makes pretty short work of that... Uh, yellow bar there. Maybe not the best gun for that, but uh, I want you to watch what it does to this static target uh, in the land walker here. Now watch what it does to the leg. And here we go. 
Now it's popping off, I believe, 90 at this point. Oh no, 136 on the legs uh, with the explosions. And the deal with this gun is that if you get four precision shots, the fifth one will be an explosive round. So you'll notice that hitting the uh, crit here is ridiculously simple to do. And the yellow dot on a leg is also a crit. Or actually anywhere on the leg. You don't even have to be on the dot. So for mowing down tanks, this is by far one of the best weapons you can use. I decided to drop down here and help uh, with the orbs, but my teammates take it, so I'm just going to stand here and pump shells into the exposed uh, engine. The event is now heroic. So instead of using my super on the tank, which I don't think really does any damage, I'm going to spread it out. All right, back up, start hitting it again, decide to go for the rocket just to see the difference. And the rocket's faster, clearly, but the Polaris Lance, really, you could sit on top if you chose not to come down here, <clears throat> and you could kill both bosses easily with it within the time limit just using Polaris Lance. So if you're wavering on whether or not to do this quest, uh, by all means, do this quest. It is absolutely worth it. Uh, it's probably one of the better scouts in the game right now. It still doesn't take the place of the uh, Nameless Midnight in terms of all-around all utility, but this is a great second choice, and I'd put it up there at least with a Mananan and, and its utility. Um, probably a, that would be an accurate uh, description. Uh, Nameless Midnight number one, Mananan slash Polaris Lance is number two options for scouts um, for overall balance. Alright, so this event is over. going to collect the award and immediately, of course, transport out. And you, There's nothing going on, so I can come back in here. No, I don't care about the Renown. Thank you very much. I wish I could toggle it off and we're back into this public event. Now I always toss a grenade over here just to be sure I get in there under the wire. And we're up here again with Polaris Lance. I'll find an available leg. It's on the back here. Boom. That didn't take very long. Uh, they're working on that one so I'm going to start popping this leg up here. Now you notice that's the nameless midlight, Midnight and I didn't think about that at first, and look how low the crit numbers are. Then I come back to the Polaris Lance, and see the difference? Now those are healthy numbers that are precision shots, and you can just crack them off. And the best part of all is, I'm losing no ammo. It's putting it right back in the tank. Uh, there, it does not draw from your reserves when you shoot this gun on precision. It is, they are magic bullets, if you will, and you get it all right back. Crack, crack, crack. And that event is complete. And there are five more tokens. So, in the space of less than ten minutes, I've collected um, ten tokens. This is Iron Bill signing off.